Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, in this video, we'll be going over how to successfully connect an iPhone to the Apple CarPlay system in a 2019 Dodge Durango. This system basically will work with any of the 8.4 inch Uconnect screens. And it's very, very simple. So let's go ahead, turn the car on. And we are in a, um, a GT model. So it's the Sport with the red leather interior. It's right below the SRT. Very, very nice red interior in this car. Shout out to my friend Russell for letting me borrow it. So now, basically you got two USB wires down here and both of those will work with CarPlay. So no matter which one you're using, they both will work. They're both USB A's, no USB C's in this car. So as long as you have one plugged in, uh, you can also go into the apps right here and you can go into projection manager, wherever that's located within your apps. And this is where you can see smartphone projection manager. And these are all the phones that you've ever paired up to it. So you can go in here and, and delete some if you want. So that again is apps and projection manager. So now basically as soon as I plug my phone in, it'll start charging and Apple CarPlay will automatically come through. And then the first time you do this, it will ask if you want to allow CarPlay while the phone is locked and you're just going to want to say yes to that. So you can see as soon as I plugged it in, it was one, two, three, and now it's on the screen. Saying this, you know, it's a square designed screen, so 8.4 inches, but it's a square, not a rectangular. So Apple CarPlay being a more rectangular format doesn't use the whole screen. But what's nice about this is you still have access to all of the Dodge controls of the Uconnect. So you don't have to switch back out of the Apple CarPlay mode to access the uh, Dodge menus. That's all still right down here. So you get your apps right in this center section here. Uh, the, res uh, the frame rate's very good. The resolution's pretty good. And uh, basically, let's fire up Google Maps to see how that looks. Again, you know, it's not nearly as glamorous as some of the other systems I've used, like the Audi and BMW ones, but it definitely provides def enough real estate of a screen. You can definitely see your GPS route there with no problem. And again, to get back out, we can go now into um, Spotify real quick. And you can see everything is just large enough to touch without really misplacing a finger. Might be more tricky if you're going high speeds, but it's really not too bad. That being said, on your steering wheel now, you do have a button right here. So if you were to hold down the voice button, cancel. There's nothing to cancel. Brings up Siri right away. No interruptions, very smooth. And Siri comes through very loud and clear, very high quality voice there. Um, as far as steering wheel controls, let's say if I were to go back in here and put on a song, just make sure it's playing low. I believe you can skip tracks with the back of the steering wheel here. So on the left spoke, you can skip tracks with the buttons right behind the spoke, which is kind of these buttons right here. So up and down, we'll skip through tracks. You did. The other side will change your audio source. So on the uh, right spoke, you can see up there at the top, it's going through the different modes. But to pause it, I am not too sure. On this screen here, now I just realized there is a um, up down for the um, left spoke here to control things through that screen. So if you leave it on Apple CarPlay and click the OK, it still does not pause. So that does not do it. Just will show you basically what track is currently playing, which is through it. So you have volume control, you have voice control for Siri, but there is no pause ability on the steering wheel in these cars with the Uconnect system. If you guys have any questions or have any you know other facts about the Uconnect Apple CarPlay system, please leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and take care.